In the previous video, we saw some important add-ons for modeling in Blender, and now let's see how we can customize the shortcuts and interface to further improve our workflow. Remember that if you are enjoying this series and want to go deeper, I invite you to take a look at my complete Blender course for beginners. You have the link in the video description. And now, let's go to the next level. Let's see now how we can customize the interface and shortcuts in Blender. The first thing is that we can assign keyboard shortcuts to almost any tool. Simply by right-clicking on the tool we want to assign the shortcut to. For example, here I have the Move tool. I'm going to right-click on it and assign shortcut. And here I choose a key to add that shortcut. Let's try it with a key like L. Then I select my object, and if I press the L, it is as if we activate the Move command and we get the manipulators. If that key already had another shortcut previously assigned to it, it will overwrite it. And if we want to remove it, we simply right-click and remove shortcut. Just as we can do with the icons that we have visually, we can also go to Preferences. And here in Key Map, we have all the available keys. I'm going to collapse this, and here we can see all the panels that exist in Blender. Let's enter the 3D View panel, for example, and the Global 3D View. And here we have all the shortcuts for the actions that we can do in the 3D view. We are going to do an example, and we are going to change a shortcut here. In this case, for example, we have the local view that is activated with the key to the left of the one, that is this slash. And if I want to change the key, I will click on it and press the key that I want to replace. Let's try, for example, with the home key. So if I go back to the 3D view and I put this here, I can press the home key. And there we are entering the local view. I press it again, and we go back to the normal view. And if I want to revert this change, I will click here, in this little arrow, and it remains with the shortcut that I had before. Regarding the input and navigation, we also have some options that we can modify, but I recommend that you leave it as it comes by default, and that you get to know the program first before making any changes here, because this is closely linked to the way we work. In my case, for example, the only thing I have active is the Emulate Numpad and the 3-button mouse. This one below is to be able to use the digitizing table, and this one to have the views on the numeric keypad on the left of my keyboard. Now, if we want to alter the colors of our interface, we can come here to Themes, and here we can select which panel we want to modify. For example, I am going to enter here to this cube in the 3D view, and from here I can change the colors to the selection. For example, here, we have that the selected vertex will be painted orange. If I click, I can change the color of the vertices here. I'm going to put a pink, and you can see the result. I can change the color of the edges, or the color of the faces. And then here, we have many options to customize the colors. If we want to revert the changes, we come up here, and we hit Resets. And finally, we have another option, which is to have a custom tool panel. If we press the Q key, we get this little sign that says Quick Favorites, and there are no items in this menu. So, to add some action to this menu, we can right-click on the tool we want, and click on Add to Quick Favorites. So, if I press Q, now I have this tool in this menu. I can access it from here. It is extremely practical to put the tools that we use the most. And if we want to remove it, we hit Q again, right-click, and remove from Quick Favorites. I'm going to show you the options that I personally like to have in my interface. First of all, for Object Mode, I like to set the shortcut to F2, Sculpt Mode to F3, and Texture Paint to F4. Then, I easily enter the different editing modes by pressing the F keys. In Object Mode, I like to add the visibility of the geometry to the Quick Favorites, so I go to Viewport Display, and in Wireframe, I right-click on Add to Quick Favorites. Then, I can quickly display the geometry of the model I have selected. Another thing I also like to add to Quick Favorites is shading, that we have here in the menu. I like to add the Shade Smooth and the Shade Flat so I can easily switch between these two shavings, which are commands that I use quite frequently. 
And finally, in edit mode, I like to put the Relax Loop Tools option here in the Quick Favorites as well. I'll click here on Add to Quick Favorites, and I can easily access the Relax option. And those are basically all the modifications that I have in my personal interface. As you work with the program, you'll realize what options you'll want to add to your custom interface according to your needs.